Hey golf fans, welcome to another episode of Up and Down, where we take a look at what's trending up and what's trending down in the game of golf. Trending up, an underdog story for the ages. Michael Pisaki Monday qualifies for the PJ Tours Valspar Championship. While he's far from a household name, he's certain to be one of the fan favorites this week after a video went viral of Visaki overcome with emotion after qualifying. That video can be found on Morning Reed's social channels, and while he's a new face to many, he's actually widely regarded as one of the strongest players on the mini tours. With 40 wins to his credit, he's had a number of close calls at Q School, but hasn't had his big break until now. Now the Valspar Championship is set to feature some of the game's premier stars like Dustin Johnson and Justin Thomas, likely beneficiaries of the tour's new player impact program. But for Visaki, he's perfectly content rolling up in his 2010 Honda Accord to realize a lifelong dream. Also trending up, the mullet movement picking up steam. Cameron Smith has been turning heads for weeks on tour with his flowing locks and solid play. However, he did reveal that the look has not been as much of a hit with his girlfriend as it has with fans. Well, in an effort to remedy the situation, he offered up this proposal. If and when he wins his next tour event, he would cut the locks. Well, a resolution appeared to have been reached when he and his partner Mark Leishman won the Zurich Classic. However, bad news for Smith's girlfriend. He admitted the locks are here to stay, and for at least one more week, the party in the back continues. Trending down, a rocky start to the 2021 campaign for Matthew Wolf. It wasn't long ago he burst onto the PJ Tour scene like few others had, winning in just his fourth appearance at the age of 20, and outshining fellow young guns Colin Morikawa and Victor Hovland early on. Fast forward to the 2021 season, both Hovland and Morikawa have two wins on their resume compared to Wolf's one, and it's been more bad than good for Wolf. He withdrew from the Farmers Insurance Open after posting a 78 and 83 at the WGC Workday event would lead to the same results, and this past weekend he teamed with Morikawa at the Zurich Classic. The duo would miss the cut by a wide margin, largely the result of Wolf's poor ball striking. Sprinkle in a DQ for an incorrect scorecard at the Masters, and you can officially call this a slump for the 22-year-old. And this isn't a lost cause, though. He still ranked inside the top 25 of the official World Golf Rankings, and he did hold the 54-hole lead at the US Open back in September. He was hoping he can rediscover that unique swing and find the form that propelled him to one of the fastest starts in tour history. We wrap things up this week with one of the more unique made cuts you'll hear about in professional golf. Nick Vogt plays on the Corn Ferry Tour and hadn't made a cut in nearly a month. He was set to change that last week in Texas as he headed to the course, and everything was going according to plan. It was until he got stuck in an elevator for 45 minutes and nearly missing his tee time resulting in a disqualification. He would ultimately escape the elevator and arrive to the course with 20 minutes to spare. He would also go on to shoot a 65 in his third round, and when asked about his travel to the course, he said he'll be taking the stairs from now on. That's all for this episode of Up and Down. You can always head over to morningread.com for more. And remember, it's not about whether you hit the perfect approach, it's about whether you get up and down from there. Mm -hmm.